discussion of the other conditions which I got for the first uh, for the project. Uh, I think we need to know the feedback from some states. I think we need to know the type of area covered by some of the research. We are looking for the technical issues first. And uh, of course, the constraints from environment to the same So uh, basically, these are the main topics which need to be covered for the coping process. Uh, like the coastal processes, which include the uh, tides, currents, and uh, waves, so to speak. So, how are we going to be affected to the agriculture of this project? Uh, the next step, uh, the next uh, answer is water quality processes. So, by the installation of this project, uh, the water quality uh, are the two similar things that is going to be affected to the project. Uh, so, that needs to be checked. Uh, check the before time. Uh, Flooding and hydrology meant that uh, for, after the installation of this project, the flooding in that area must be controlled because of water being affected. So, uh, inactivate the water and flooding in that area might only uh, that area may be placed on flooding. But on the other hand, we need to check that the, it might cause flooding in some other area. So, this needs to be checked before. The intergovernmental supply chain some titles that we can probably use the plant and other living organisms, which are living at the bottom of the sea level. So they are opportunities for identical food for the fish, which are living at the mother level of the sea. So uh, they are going to be uh, affected with the natural so we can check them well before time. The fish is uh, uh, there might be some fish uh, whose species is is an you know, endangered. So uh, that needs to be checked by sites so that, that uh, it may not affect that fish in any like the next level. Uh, then there comes the marine mammals. The marine mammals may be certain work in that area. They may be affected by this project. So uh, that needs to be checked that they will not be affected in any next level. The birds of that area, they might be feeding on the fish of that area. So by the installation of this project, the birds and fish of that area may be uh, may, uh, move from that area to some other area and then the birds of this fish they might be affected. The terrestrial ecology takes account and other living organisms living uh, nearby that area. Uh, the project is going to be installed, so we will check how they can be affected with the installation of this project. Because the visual impact and the noise disturbance may be caused by this project with the uh, machinery, which may be used for the construction of this project. So, the key step and answer is that the main the project should bring uh, an effective way to the future of the tourists uh, or any other people who stay in the area. So, then it should not bring an awful look to the future of that. And heritage is that the marine assets may not exist as in any same place. Like there might be some historic things or historic assets that may not be affected. So historically that needs to be considered in both the process. Uh, shipping and navigation is the the, the navigation equipment used to do like ships may be affected. So uh, we need to check that the navigation equipment may not uh, bring some errors to the installation of this project. And the shipping is that the ship parked nearby that area may be affected because there will be less space for them to park and then turn, uh, take some turns because of the less space available. So these things need to be checked well before time. Thank Also, um, the view from the public and from the 
especially in terms of this in the, uh, in the project because of the change. Uh, here's three different examples. That one is three. Uh, that's the first one is initial, the one we touched on. One of the questions is this, which one um, from uh, March 2011 to uh, June uh, 2013. Uh, and we want to buy cash for the consultants and the uh, staff story uh, for the end of uh, our community. First one is the staff story. Consultation is around the program in 2013, uh, uh, at least for 20 uh, and 20. <laughs> and we want to buy cash for the consultants, less cash for the consultants and local uh, community. First three is, uh, is the next slide for you. Consultation uh, began uh, as the slide for the consultation ended. During this uh, first uh, uh, PLSP, we provided feedback that come from uh, community and the staff for the consultants. Um, this uh, first uh, run on uh, the 17th of October uh, at uh, Swansea uh, University Stadium. Consultation process. Take, uh, the stakeholder consultation approach is the uh, first stage in a good fashion of the stakeholder uh, consultation strategy and uh, selection of information and identification of stakeholder. The next one is the um, dissemination uh, method um, and processing and responding for commenters. Commenters to be included in uh, by uh, project uh, development. As you can see, the first two boxes are as, uh, the first display one, the leading one is phase two, and the third one uh, is a uh, three. Slash story and then slash story. In the left hand side, a slash story and down the right side, a slash story. So these are just three, there's more, more regular to the projects, uh, and I did three of them. The deployment of energy and climate change. This responsible for uh, energy that comes in the UK and control the uh, companies that build as low as possible and also involved in uh, sorry, uh, uh, climate change in the, in the country and controlling this renewable energy systems. Health and safety. Uh, this is responsible for uh, health and safety and welfare in uh, building construction and any uh, uh, type of uh, projects and enforcing the companies uh, to uh, abide by the rules and by regulations. Um, local regional bodies uh, is how to plan the road and district planning. Here is the uh, body that is um, allowed to give a permission to uh, go ahead with the projects and to say yes uh, or no. And this many slash law, waste disposal authority. This body is responsible for any disposal that collected from any part of the country or any part of the project that may be in the area. And also responsible uh, the responsible the waste changing into energy as well to renewable uh, energy using um, uh, technologies. The schools and the um, uh, colleges, uh, schools and uh, the reason I chose those uh, student um, colleges are very important to um, to give them an idea how the projects work, how the kind of benefits, what the disadvantages, and how the projects um, uh, involve this uh, growth of the uh, economy and how um, it can help the locals in terms of tourism and jobs. Principles on, on the consultation. Uh, local involvement in tips on the uh, on the projects to give them some understandings of uh, the project, the people who live in that uh, area, to mitigate and identify and identify phases as early as possible before the decision made by the consultant to make awareness how the projects can help to boost the UK economy. UK economy through uh, jobs and uh, tourism activity. Summary um, The first three is year one to year three. It was a site characterization and, and the next for the consultation. And the uh, third 
having something in the third and forty eight, forty five of the environmental classes in the environmental impact system. Second year, uh, the request for environment uh, impact assessments of the European third year were was a statutory um, consultation on PR, which is a preliminary uh, environment information uh, report. On a middle, third, and fourth year, then the statutory consultation on a draft environment, um, um, environment statements. The last uh, year, year four, application submitted to the planning uh, inspectorate and natural resource uh, wedge. So let me just alert the people and take over. Thank you. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Alberto. And we are talking about two core themes for graphic insights and matrix. Um, so the final, the final goal and the final product of the environmental impact assessment will be a document called the environment campaign. Now, this document has become larger and larger with time. And nowadays, there can be tens of thousands of pages long, 50,000 pages long, or something like that. Um, and the thing I put the thing I put in is because it makes it harder for people in the community to actually get the information they need in order to get involved. And especially people with not technical knowledge, it becomes a really like a barrier for them to actually uh, get involved in the issue, which is uh, which is uh, generally a good thing. Um, this is why we as this whole uh, always encourage the uh, fellow involvement in the state council to proactively ask and request the uh, developer to review the environmental statement of course and they use the tools such as Zoom in order to make the information easily uh, easily, easily understandable. So um, what, how can this tool actually help if, if we focus to make this uh, document actually shorter and more compliant? Well, it, it has two steps and the main goal is to present information in a way that's easy to see, easy to understand and comply. Um, the first step would be to take all the issues that the code process and the consultation process uh, identify. So issues such as having the law of the issues, for example, uh, transport and weather protection and so on. And organize and put them into categories, specific four categories. It could be physical, technical, biological, ecological, ecological, social, and economic organization. So uh, let's, all, let's go through the first step and organize uh, all these issues. And as you can see, they're also, they're also labeled. So each of these will have it, for example, in this case, uh, if you want, it, it tells you that it comes in the physical, technical category, which you know they want to do, and so on. Um, and once this is done, then we have to assign a score to each individual uh, issue, right? And this score simply is called an environmental score. And uh, it's not nothing, nothing more than a number, a number that can be negative. Uh, it will range from a minus 108 or across 108. And it's really simple, really. So positive score, positive number, will be uh, associated or will indicate a positive impact. The greater the number, the main or the positive impact will be. So here in the upper band, for example, we can see that it will be uh, associated with a major positive change or impact. And from, from one to nine, it's just a slightly positive impact. Could be also zero, could be it could be that this other particular issue does not apply really to the point that we're considering. Um, or it doesn't change the status quo at all, so it will have a score of zero. Or it could be negative, and then again, the, the, the more negative the number is, the major the impact it will be associated with. Um, and then the last step would be, oh actually, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's actually very common to see that instead of numbers, sometimes you will use letters, which are probably easier to see for people. Um, so that's uh, something very uh, common also on the Facebook. And the last step is to actually create a menu, something that is very simple. Uh, of course, this is an oversimplification for the sake of the uh, presentation. Uh, and remember that each author will have uh, not just one score, many issues, and each issue will have a two individual score. But just for the sake of the presentation, it's not simple. Um, in this case,
into it, we're going to try to design and re redesign alternatives. So, uh, the first one, attached hands, refers to two moving like moon actions to attach to the cold, the cold one short. And the second alternative would be to access it like moon off short. So, imagine a uh, cylindrical structure, which this one uh, would be water that's level inside and outside would be different, and so we'll be able to fire. Um, in this case, we will go to all pitches and then assign them scores. And then we'll come up with something like this. And uh, as you can see here, there's no much difference between the two scenarios until now. Uh, it, it kind of has a negative impact on the user in the whole category, also negative impact in the category, and a positive impact on the economic and political uh, side of things. But uh, they're very similar to the green So it depends on the task. From the last uh, paper, we realized that there's essentially a significant greater positive impact on the first um, project. And then, as you can see, it becomes really easy for anyone to understand why the project went ahead and showed a particular design standard. And if you don't need to agree with it, but it should be easy to refer to how this score was calculated and then add this information to the user if you disagree or agree or. And this is the end goal uh, that we are looking for. Um, that concludes my part of the presentation, and uh, I'm going to let uh, the right take over now. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mubar, I'm a legal aid at the end of the group, and one of the use of the departments. And um, before I start speaking about the main company, I'm going to take a few members in the company. So currently, uh, the country general is on the head from the table of power. Fifteen percent of that generated from renewables and eighty-two percent from fossil fuels. Um, the fossil fuels mean on seven point two uh, million tons of the equivalent per year. Uh, the country from the general from the total generation is exported from nine percent, so we want to consider as a net export of energy. And globally, it comes in from Singapore towards power, which is about 1% of the total generation. The local consumption uh, is 7% of this on fossil fuels and 42% of this on renewables. This is the concentration of all the projects. So, when the project is came, I'm assuming that the company did a very concerned amount of electricity, uh, it's called for 90%, the local consumption was 90%. And the fossil fuels will drop by 12 percent, the renewables will increase by 12 percent, and the renewables generally in the country will uh, increase by 5 percent. The fossil fuels, the minimum fossil fuels will drop by 10 percent, which is the total of 6.7 million tons of fossil fuels. Uh, now, in 2007, how the project will participate in 2007. So, currently, 7.2 million tons of fossil fuels. When the project is in, this number will drop by 10%, so it's by 6.7 million tons of steel equivalent. Now we have 500,000 tons of steel equivalent savings, but this is not the savings that we get. We have to consider the important problem in the project. So the project, the, project, the, the company is doing it for the uh, uh, line house, which is about 500 meters, and it goes into uh, 900,000 tons. Import country and that has uh, around 170,000 tons of steel equivalent. So now the savings is around 240,000 tons of steel equivalent. But this is not the, the final savings because we, we are spending the information which we don't have. We didn't get the information about the project carbon issues and emissions. And maybe some components which we are not aware of. So we, since we assume that they can put it on all these. Uh, with 104,000 of this equivalent, so that will give us a total carbon saving of 246,000 tons of equivalent. And this figure we got from the future statistics, and so it made the new South calculation or rough calculation for 2% budget. So now we need to speak about the advantages of the project. This project is anticipated to attract about 100,000 visitors, and we are very conservative on it. We assume that each visitor will, will spend 2,500 pounds. So this is 50 million pounds here. And uh, knowing that the project, the cost of the project is 1.3 million, so this project can take back from the 50 to 26 years. And with this big number, 
this new logic, which was then a, a fresh uh, knowledge, is still dangerous and is much more dangerous. So we expect that we will have to witness contractual problems on the behaviors and more, more detailed decisions as well by software firms and local small businesses. And for those who are traveling to drive quickies, we don't tend to claim partners and they run with deals on the application of the apps, uh, like Airbnb and so on. So this is going to be very beneficial for the residents of, of, the, of the local residents because some of them will start renting parts of the houses, which is um, easy extra income for them, and not many jobs. This project will have will provide a lot of long-term jobs and job in job in the in the project which will will take place in the area. And this project as well, just like the other projects are this one reason has some impacts on different areas. And because of time treatment we won't be able to cover all the impacts. So we're going to we speak about sense issues and what are the impacts and how do we follow up the impact on the issues. So to talk about the impact most of the four to understand that there, there are two impacts, uh, two impacts and then doing one thing. So, for example, the, the area in which the lagoon can take place is considered to be spawning for herring. So, the developer uh, is going to provide uh, the spawn structures along the outer wall of the lagoon. The honeycomb, the honeycomb uh, works, the developer is suggesting that the council of the a separate area until the project is completed so they can be brought back again. We have here the equation with the marine mammals. The marine mammals will experience different impacts. They will experience impact to the impact, which is non installation. So the developer is going to use uh, vibratory fire to make sure they are to mitigate the impacts on the marine mammals. And the other location is they will use monitoring problems and they will use uh, a filter to make sure the lower numbers of the filters maintain to the provide movements. Uh, here is a feature is going to develop it as well. So the developer suggests uh, they are going to contribute to enhance the feature. This is going to second half after the construction's doing of operation, the feature wall is going to act as Brief and brief breach of, of uh, breach of fishes. So it is going to provide a very good uh, fishing area for the fishermen. And then there's a problem with air pollution. The project itself is not going to stop in the emission for the air. So it is not going to. Uh, but the thing is, because of the uh, air source emissions from common traffic, because the project will have a lot of machinery and a lot of uh, vehicles to deliver uh, materials, so this is the only issue with the, the project. And now I feel like enjoying the project and want to assure the council that this is not a project, so I'm really participating in the last part of the And uh, now I want to give the floor to my leader here to give a conclusion for us. Thank you. Very quickly. Um, we do hope that our presentation uh, has some value for the council and we do allow you to prepare a one to one uh, answer to the common question in Denver. And this is just giving you a quick idea that would be fair that this project would it has a great potential to be a good economy, 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 and lots of different technical solutions to see that it will have emissions. Um, it will, it will bring more tourism into the area. It has lots and lots of benefits, and it's a great project too. But it is really important that we get it right, and this is why we need environmental impact assessment for that. This way, it can be made in a way that is sustainable, that doesn't really uh, have a negative impact on, on the ecosystem, and so then uh, we mitigate them appropriately. And uh, finally, um, that we introduce the environmental assessment simple. Uh, because that will allow more people to be involved with this project and just holistically making a better uh, project for everyone. Uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions? We are on the camera. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, we are going to start the next time.
These points. Yeah, from, from the different areas that you might be affected, you might need to discuss these kind of things. Give me a headline of your, your case. Yeah, um, well, I consider it the fish that is going to be affected the most with this project because uh, we need to install some screens so that the fish might not enter the, the, uh, the turbines and may hurt and may also damage the turbine. So uh, that's the main thing that I consider is the point we need to focus on. Okay, okay. thank you. Um, sorry, I'm going to ask you to walk quickly here. So, um, the, uh, I don't know, I'm going to go next. So, your, your uh, matrix was mostly the, I think it was 80 15. Yeah, so what was the difference? What was the cause of that? Okay, so, well, this is an hypothetical case. Um, oh, well, it's based on a real example. Uh, and it's very easy to visualize it. It was easier to uh, create uh, this weather institute. It's, it's built in like Luna Castle, which is animated, of course. That, that comes from a global scenario. So it scores the whole information sharing process. So it's not really a, a new thing behind it. I just wanted to illustrate how it works and then to give you some insight. Okay, a patch line is the preferred option. Okay. Yeah. So why would that be? Why do you think? Well, uh, because uh, both of them have negative impact in these two categories, but the, the, the scores are very similar. I knew they are in the same batch. So if we were to do that, they would be the same letter and the same here. But uh, so they're very similar options, but when it comes to one category, we can see that the impact in one of them is, is a lot greater, and it would be easy to understand that, that why uh, the, the, the developer would go for this, would be this option. But the, the, the most important thing about scores is that you should be able to infer, if, if you want to understand why it's so good, you should be able to infer the environment, then see how the score was calculated, and then like, maybe it's good. Um, I have a couple of questions. So going back to farming compensation, yeah, 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 that one. So um, you talked about some western mining industry, and I'm not quite sure what you meant by that. Could you explain what you mean by protecting the environment? Like we need to take permission from the environmental protection agency that we can carry on with this project, how this project, uh, because the environmental protection agency, they can uh, suggest us that uh, the positive and negative impacts of this project. So we need to convince them that this is better for the environment. So we have to uh, take we consent. Need the consultation, the consultation. We need to consent from them. Okay. Yeah. Not sure about that, but yeah. And then the next one wants to be on. Um, I think it was um, Barrett who talked about the different compensation at different countries. Oh, sorry, yeah. Good one. Um, yeah, that's which is probably just to 
to give them an idea of all the advantages, disadvantages, those uh, tools and run for uh, the students, then if, if they understood the consequences, advantage, disadvantage, and the economy, in terms of economy, we have to tell them that the community should get out of the project because of that disadvantage or unbeneficial. So we have to persuade them that for future, they are future generations. So they have to know what's going on in terms of the projects, in terms of the environmental um, assessment. So from that point, our actually is to encourage to give them uh, some idea about uh, the projects. Uh, yeah, disposal. Um, as we uh, as mobile mentioned, there will be 110,000 visitors. Visitors, hundred thousand visitors. So this time, um, the visas might drop. They will drop some um, liters. Anyway. So the visitor have to um, take them, collect them, and um, change to, uh, to to energy to save renewable energies. So that's why I think the this West this was our opportunity to. Um, to, to see and to get some advice and to control the area and to call uh, to cause the, um, the council of people to to be more in terms of um, this disposal. Uh, one last question, I'm going to wrap it up, Andrew. Uh, from Victoria, I'm, I'm missing something in the beginning of it when you talked about the need for uh, a environmental impact assessment. I've had some consultants tell us uh, at the council that even for you know, major infrastructure projects, you don't always need to have uh, impact assessment, environmental impact assessment. So is this like something we should do, or do we have to do it? And why? Do we really have to do it in the way? In the United States, yes, we should do it. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a budget process, so it's a large impact process. And because of this, it's going to have to be uh, an act plan. And it takes a step of the scale of the project, and it has the outcome plan. Excellent. All right, guys, thank you very much. Oh, great. Oh, sorry, a couple of just closing business.